Nope. And they have spirits invade everyone. Their most friendly target is people with the other people in their game. Yeah. He touches me, it does one point of damage, and it's like, oh. <coughs> oh, he just shot it. Yeah, hey, just got shot. I just sat down. Nope, oh, just got shot again and he tried healing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for him to start, uh... <coughs> uh, look at my health. He hit me three times. The first time, and then two times. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter who they kill. Phantom or host. Or Dark Spear, as long as they kill someone. It does not matter. Yep. They're crazy. But at least he wiped out all your people. I wish I could drop the Obscuring Ring for you. But, uh, it hides your presence. It makes you hard to see from far away. Like those people that just all of a sudden appear in front of you. <coughs> that, they're wearing the obscuring ring, that's why. What am I wearing? Oh, that's why he only did half damage. I had the ring of skill protection on. I have a ring of favor on plus two. Let's see what happens if I take it off. It's not telling me how much health I lose for your world. I don't know. Yep. I have one arrow. Oh, it's a wooden arrow. Where's my... I don't have any other normal arrow. Right here is where her summon sign will appear. You have to kill the boss, and this is where you have her second summon. So she summons you a second time from here. The first time is where the crocodile appears. You touch her summon sign and you you help her. As a dark man. <coughs> that was serious. That was her first summon sign. She was fighting Creighton. If you beat the pontiff, that summon sign goes away. So, yeah, you screwed the pooch on that one. But now you know. So, before you go in there, give me a second. Oh yeah, Lapis Holy Blade. I'm losing a little bit, but I'm gaining much more. Yep. I only need five at this point. That's all I need. This thing isn't even a challenge. Yeah. <coughs> Dude, I fought it alone. I was like, okay. Slash, slash, slash. Broke its back after it fell. Broke its back. Broke its back. Dang it. It barely... It barely has 3,000 XP. In your world, it barely has 3,000 XP. That's a shot. One shot ever. We're boosted by my spell, but it's already wrong. Come over here. Yep. I think I have one or two left, but I'm not sure.
Cause it only it costs forty. Yep. I'll help you out a little bit. I got an ember. I should give you some embers. His armor will be right here. It'll be right next to the bonfire when you kill him. Hodrick. And then when you go back to Firelink, she'll she'll thank you and say you're an eternal ally of hers. That's a lie if you do Rosario, she'll appear again and be like you're an enemy. Um After she says that, rest at the bonfire, go outside Firelink. There should be a little cliff next to Firelink. Not right next to it, but as you're going down the path back to Ludix. Uh, there should be a little cliff off to the left side. And uh, there should be a hollow standing above the, the empty abyss. And you just Sparta kick him off and he's dead. There should be the sunset shield right there. That's his grave. She brought, she brought his shield back to him. And that marks the end of her quest line. And then when you join with Zarya's fingers, uh, she'll appear in Firelink. That's when you kill her, take her arm, uh, take her uh, sunless talisman, and then go to the handmaiden and uh, buy her armor. And then boom. Fully complete. <coughs> Did I already do level ups? I haven't. Oh my god, he's dead. I uh. I screwed up. Fifty, sixty. Just use selected. Not use, use selected. And then boom. Mm hmm I, I have to. A little, a little thank you. Shackles with me. Jesus Christ. Oh, I do advise you to get the fair and great sword because, uh, hold on, let me look at it. Let me double check. It has an A scaling with uh, dexterity and a C scaling with uh, strength, and it's light. It's only 12.5. In all honesty, I should be using this. I should just. I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going on Dead Legion. Baron Greatsword is a parrying dagger and a replica of Artorias' Greatsword. A very bare base replica. That's why it's so light. <coughs> or that's why it's so heavy. They made it heavier to do more damage to the Abyss. And then when, uh, when you go to... Yep.
like I like the Pair on Great Sword. I just wish that the uh, <coughs> the parry actually used FP and made it like super parry. Like it automatically goes like when you land it, it automatically goes into the animation. And like you do double damage or something. way to fight NPCs is the Baron Greatsword because you jump on them and everything. Insane. You just really can't kill Titanite Lizards. Because you don't have a jumping attack. But if you hit L1 while running, you do a speed throw towards the enemy. Oh, get this. So I summoned Hawkwood at Dragon Peak, and uh, I had him fight Havel. And the summoners, summon like the Ricard's Leap Gear guy and the Great Blood Knight. They, uh, they summoned Havel. Yeah, so he was my first guy to kill, and I failed. So I tried to him. Oh, my niece isn't even here. She's at school. Huh? What? No. I said, that's not my niece. She's at school. Because my friend said, the reason I do is I have a lot of fun. Yeah. And the NPC was loading sturdy. Yeah. I just gotta find a ledge to drop down on this. Oh, it's whenever you're ready. Whenever I, you're can, ready. I can go whenever. Whenever you're ready. You gotta text me when you're walking back. Okay. Okay. You're not gonna come back. That old man said, when my daughter came last night, my son, did you hear him come last night? He was here last night? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, okay, because I, I was... I'm gonna have a list of stuff for you. You're gonna be bringing me back quarters and everything. Okay. You're gonna be ready to go, but it's gonna start raining in a little while. So. Okay. That's what I did the last time I did it. Oh, 